there guys, DMOS Tipper 3 here bringing you the final spoiler coverage before the release of Moonlit Savior. Today we are going to be talking about different standby cards and some cool spells um, that we have yet to have seen uh, and that'll finish up all the spoiler stuff before the release next week. So let's just jump right in. So first off, we have Pale Savior. It's a 3 drop spell chance standby. Um, Remember, it only costs two to play face down, regardless of the cost. But uh, its trigger is a J slash Resonator you control, dealt damage, your opponent controls, dealt damage to you this turn. You may put a Light Resonator with total cost four or less from your hand into the field. So this is kind of a, you take a hit, and then you can swing it right back. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, it can be ca cast for three from the hand. Um, so. I'm okay casting this card from hand, considering it's a, if especially if I have a four drop, um, because it can be kind of used from hand at instant speed to kind of essentially give a resonator in my hand quick cast, um, which could be pretty important. So this is a pretty cool buff for light, I think. Then we have Prison in the Lunar Lake, uh, three drop as well, spell chance standby, trigger, when your opponent plays an automatic ability of a resonator they control that was put into a field from a non-field zone this turn. AKA, this is when any of those, when this card enters the field, or enter effects, or anything else, when those happen, or like Lancelot's trigger to burn something, when those happen, if it was put into a field this turn, um, those will all match this. And then while you control the Water Magic Stone is the other part of the trigger, uh, you can cancel the ability and destroy the Resonator. This is a very good card. It is a cancel and it's a destruction. Um, but having to have a water magic stone immediately means that it's going to be kind of weird, but if you're casting it from hand, you need a water will anyway, so hopefully it comes from a water magic stone. Then we have Ambush, 2-drop, uh, spell chance standby, when a J slash resonator your opponent controls attacks, you may put a wind resonator with total cost 3 or less from your hand into the field. This is essentially a 2-drop that lets you play a 3-drop at quick cast speed. Um, that's pretty awesome. I really like this card a lot. I think it's a good support for green. Being able to flash something else in um, is definitely a cool effect uh, and I think can be a big support, especially when you're playing more of a control deck and you want to be able to kind of respond to your opponent a little bit easier. Guessing this from hand is definitely something you can make use of. We have the black one it is Nighttime Raiders. Uh, its trigger is a Resonator you control dealt damage to your opponent this turn. You may put a Darkness Resonator with total cost 5 or less from your hand to the field. Um, that's huge. Like, you manage to swing in some damage, you pay 3, you get a 5 drop. Um, that's potentially really good if you're already putting pressure on your opponent. You can kind of seal the deal with this, especially since we have some pretty impressive Darkness Resonators. Um, things like uh, Arthur or the new uh, Lucifer, or all kinds of stuff that you can use to kind of keep pressure going once you get that damage in against your opponent. Uh, then we have Heart Stirring Sage. He is one drop green, uh, human zero, 600. And then he taps and target resonator's attack becomes equal to its defense until the end of the turn. So as a one drop, this guy's pretty good. You can um, play him on turn one, uh, take your opponent's first turn hit during your upkeep, tap him to, you know, make his defense equal to his attacks, and he's a 6-6, and then you can kill whatever they use to attack you first turn. It's pretty good. Uh, it also works really well with things like um, Arthur Pendragon. If you have the two on the field, you tap Arthur to pump up his defense, tap this guy to then make Arthur's attack equal to his defense, so he's an 18-18. Um, that can do a lot of work. Um, so I can see this card being used in control decks um, as a kind of a responsive kind of thing, but we'll have to see. Then we have Wall of Wind. We've seen this card before, but now we see it a little bit more up close. One drop, cancel target spell unless it control its controller pays one. It's any kind of spell, so that's pretty awesome. And then we have Wind Secluded Refuge, uh, two drop field edition. When this card enters your field, draw a card. So that cantrips, which is nice. 
can then when a spell or ability your opponent controls targets a J slash resonator you control, you may banish this card, and if you do, cancel that spell or ability. This is an automatic ability. Uh, so one thing to note is this can actually be used to cancel Flames of Outer World, um, much in the same way that um, even if Mephistopheles gets targeted by Flames of Outer World, it'll still burn for 500 because it's an automatic ability. This will still be able to be banished and cancel Flames of Outer World. So that's kind of cool that we finally have a way to do that. So just as a heads up. Then we have Seal of Wind and Light. We've seen this card before as well, um, but it's nice to see it up close. It is a one green, one light uh, spell chant instant. Cancel target spell. And then players cannot chase this to this card if you awaken it with a moon. So it becomes a three drop cancel that can't be chased. Um, or a two drop cancel if you know your opponent doesn't have any responses. Um, but it's any spell, so I definitely think that this is really nice. Um, it's definitely a boon to Kakia being able to play those two colors. Uh, I'm really excited about this. Getting some new, you know, more powerful count cancel stuff, I think is pretty awesome. So there you have it, guys. Let me know what you think of these cards, what kind of deck you want to see them played in, whether you think these standbys are worth it or not. And uh, enjoy your pre-releases this weekend. If you're going, stay tuned for my feature stuff next week. And like, comment, and subscribe as always. And until next time, this is DMO73, signing off.